Wine. Mustard. Wine. And mustard. Wine. We have three bottles of wine. No, we don't. <laughs> we have two bottles of water and a GoPro. We are going e-biking today in Messina. This is Sicily. That's right. Mm. Now, tell them how far we're going. Uh, we will be biking 45 kilometers. 45. And we're also going to have 600 meters of elevation along the way. But they say that the view is worth all of the pedaling. His hip is going to get a good workout today. He's getting a workout today. We're going to be gone for five hours. On five our hours on our e-bike. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing we have pedal assist. You're lucky I can't get you to do an hour at home. An hour at home. <laughs> all right, so the adventure for Messina starts right now. Welcome to our first e-bike cruise experience. Yes. The bike adventure supplied by MSC Cruises includes 17 people on e-bikes today. The tallest electrical tower in the world in the 1950s. I'm sure they make them taller today and now the water oh now the cables go into the water wow our ship is all the way back Well, that was an exciting day biking around Messina, eh? Mm -hmm. What is that? That is the queso fundido, is it? Mm -hmm. I didn't even see you order it. And we got some chippies. Poblano, Grandma. Poblano. Which I think you got over here, too. Uh, quesadilla. Put a watermelon drink. Some pico. And. How's the last pico? Margarita. Yeah, that's good. All right, so what do we have in store for tonight? I think we booked a couple of shows tonight. Oh, no, wait. First, we will have the uh, sushi bar later. Mm -hmm. The Kaito sushi bar. Ah, there it is. My fuego. Habanero. Sushi? Sushi tonight for supper. And then uh, we have the Amelia show, which I believe is a story about Amelia Earhart. Yep. And then we have the... Um, Michael Bublé in person. Michael Bublé in person. No. Tri tribute act. Tribute. It's not impersonation. It's tribute. Right. So I'm going to learn all the Michael Bublé songs I could in the next five hours. So Good. I'll enjoy the show. Good. Mm. Good. So now that we've had a cat nap, we're in the Build Your Own Sweet Temptations ice cream shop. Located on deck seven? Deck eight. I forget, I haven't really done my homework. You choose your own flavor, add your toppings, choose your sauces. Wow. They've got their own little malt lounge cigar bar. And if you look up, this is their back of the ship, wide open. That's their let them drop slide, which isn't working, but that's okay. I wish it was. Welcome to the sushi experience. And I don't have a conveyor belt over here, so we're gonna have to go and see. We got some sake. You got miso soup, you got a hand roll, you got yellowfin tuna sashimi, you get octopus, uh, a little salad with scampi sesame seed, uh, seaweed salad, passion fruit, kamachi sashimi, ebi nigiri, which is cooked shrimp, tiger eye tempura, and uh, matcha, matcha tea ice cream. 
So we're going to start at the top, we're going to work our way down, and then if we're still hungry at the end, we might get some teriyaki. What kind of soup do we have here? Miso soup. Put some tofu in it. All right. Looks good to me. Very interesting. Looks good. Shrimp on a stick. What? Did he what? Did he what? What? This what? plate is as big as one of Cliff's symbols. Oh my know, gosh. Right? Check it out. Know, we got right? a hand roll. We got a pile of sashimi over here, which looks like salmon, tuna, and this is probably the amberjack, what they were telling us about. Over here we have some salmon, uh, nigiri, and then we have this tempura roll. Where they deep fry the, uh, the sushi after they make after they roll it up, and then here's your octopus. You get one octopus. So here I go. Uh, beating the rice and everything. And the final course of the evening, the matcha. Matcha green tea ice cream. We forgot to show pictures of our teriyaki and our our fried rice. Our yakitori. Oh, the fried rice was. Yeah, right? I don't eat fried rice. Nope. But you used I had to. to. It was it was like dessert, actually. Good. Um, so I'll have a couple spoons of this for dessert too. Can we go make our own ice cream bar next? <laughs> Adventure awaits. Chocolate heaven, huh? Oh my lordy, lordy, the forty. Look at this stuff. I see it. Do you get this stuff in Scranton? No. 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 Not at all. <laughs> All right. Ah. Oh. Look at that. That's what I call chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh-huh. I think they borrowed some of these and they took them up to the hamburger joint yesterday. Yeah. Because I remember eating one of these meringue, meringue cookies up they there. They were good, huh? They have chocolate meringue, white meringue. A whole cruise ship made of yes. chocolate. Yeah, right? And uh, macaroons. Uh, Look at that. Damn. <laughs> I guess if I'm looking for the price, I can't afford them. Right? right. What's this? Did you want? How cute are they, huh? Oh, man. Dried strawberries. Nice. Cookies. Nice. Chocolate. Nice. Oh, and then here's the rest of the macaroons. Think yep. they made them all yesterday? Yep. Made them all today. Made them all today. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right. You know we're gonna make our own chocolate bar before it's over. Oh, thy art is chocolate. Right? <laughs> all right, we're to. Oh boy. how you do your tequila with Mr. Murphy. What a day. You can see it in my face if I'm tired. So we started this morning 
eating breakfast downstairs and it was an okay experience. It wasn't the greatest. From there, we met our e-bike adventurers at 10 a.m. and we biked 25 miles. I think that's the most Glenn and I have ever biked in the history of Lucia and Glenn. I could be wrong or he'll chime in any minute and tell me I'm wrong. From there, we came back on the ship. We went to Ola Tacos, had our favorite Mexican restaurant on the ship, and we went and did the sushi experience, which was fun. So for 28 bucks, you got your own little package, and then if you wanted to order anything over that, you got to do that. Then we went down to the cruise desk, and we started looking into a cruise for 2024. And the one that we looked at, it's a, it's a big maybe. There's no guarantee that he'll be okay. Sorry. It's okay. Um, no guarantee we're going to take that one because I think we really want to do Australia and Abu Dhabi. But in order to get there with MSC, you have to go on the world's cruise for 115 days. And I'm not yeah. spending four months on a cruise ship. No way, Jose. So we'll have to explore maybe a different cruise line for that. Then from there, we went to a wonderful show called Amelia. Oh, my God. That was phenomenal. That was Absolutely the incredible. best show we have ever seen at sea. Absolutely Oh, best. yeah. All the daredevils and stunt stuff that you saw earlier in the video. It was better than Cirque du Soleil. It was great. On land. It was great. Now... We're supposed to be going to see the Michael Buble tribute act at 11, but that's not happening because... It starts we, in five minutes. No. We have to fix our excursion for tomorrow <laughs> because somebody's travel agent screwed up. Uh, again, wrong airport in Rome. <laughs> yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> so from there, we went and had our pizza, burger, fries, you know, your local night junk food. I don't think I've added a lot of weight on this trip. I think I've pretty much biked it all off. If we don't get e-bikes tomorrow, I'm going to be real mad. So we will be at that excursion desk bright and early for 730. Even if it has to surpass our breakfast, I don't give a damn. But these are the things that can happen when you don't pay attention. And we tried calling the excursions desk and the signal is not the greatest. So... There's that then. Other than that, it's been a long day. Oh, and... oh, I see three stars. Oh, God. This is the first stars I've seen on the cruise. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe, like, comment down below. Tell everybody how much Lucia sucks. Lucia sucks. And uh, tell your friends to do the same. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And, uh, oh, he finally shows his face. Peace out. <laughs> Good night from the middle of the ocean near Sicily. Good night from Valletta. We'll see you in, no, yeah, we'll see you in Valletta tomorrow. Good morning from Malta, everyone. Look at that beautiful blue weather out there. Ah, blue skies. I think we got some sun today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to be biking today, but somebody's travel agent screwed up. Again. So we're going to walk. The city of Malta today. Gotcha. Wow, look at that cathedral, Gwen. Isn't that cool? This is a very pretty city. Which, lots of trucks coming through here. Lots of people, so you have to watch your stuff. That's really cool. And where is our tour guide? Nowhere to be found. Very nice. Very nice. So what do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Ganin? I am liking the walking tour today. It's not so bad. Yeah, after a strenuous bike tour, right? Well, we were 25 miles on bikes yesterday. That's a lot. And we're going to do it again on Friday. And now we're in St. Peter's Cathedral. Very beautiful in here. Very, very beautiful. Look at all the people in here. It's gorgeous, oh my God. In fact, that if you get lost in Medina, you might end up staying here 
versus in Valletta, there's no possible way. No, because you, you could see your ship. Because you could see your ship from everywhere. So now we are walking more through the city of Medina. with some tzatziki sauce. We got nice and pork. Thank you. Well, white wine. Mm. One, oh, glass of one glass of white wine. White wine. Right. Mm. The local wine. That's really good one. Right? Yeah. Right. Try it. We're gonna do, put some lemon juice on this. Look at the Watch people that are here today. Drop this thing again. People are in line for the church. And we told our tour guide, no, thank you. Okay, did you try it yet? I'm trying it. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, tell, yeah. tell people what it tastes like. Well, it's got a little extra mint in the tzatziki sauce. But it tastes like the same stuff you put on the gyro. Yep. And the calamari. Mm-hmm. You can get the little ones with the tentacles. Nice. Well, you don't eat, you can eat with the pork. So where to next? Right here. <laughs> when we're done. We're gonna check out some little stores around here and then make our way back to the ship. Maybe we'll get a close swimming before supper. I still have a half of a glass of wine. Just because you chug your Pepsi Max with zero sugar. It's different beast, mister. Well, the real question is, are we going to go this way or are we going to go that way? I suggest we go this way down here and see what we can find. Like uh, an alternate route back to the ship. Yeah. Maybe we can have another intimate moment like this one. <laughs> oh my God, you're insane. <laughs> Beautiful palace of Malta. Awesome. The people, the crowd. If you're gonna visit, definitely visit here. You won't be sorry that you did. Before we do that, this is the map. Yeah. So the our ship is island. over there. Yep. So if you walk from here down to the waterfront, then we can walk all the way up the waterfront and go back to our hotel. See, I feel like I'm married to Anthony Bourdain. Why do you say that? Because you said, let's see where the adventure takes us, and here we are eating again. <laughs> we had a little snack. We had some calamari pumpkin with some tzatziki sauce. <laughs> and now we can have country scallops right here. Oh, and by the way, I forget the name of the restaurant. Ocean. Look at this food hall. Oh my God. Is this the best food hall you've ever seen in your life? Standard Caban, Maltese street food. Mexican bola, wild poke bowl. We had the seafood out the front and it was amazing. Right? Over this side, we have um, Japanese food, Moroccan food. <laughs> We're back again. So we're repeat offenders here at Bola Taco. Oh yeah, every day. Gotta have some chips with cheese. The cheese is tangy. And the chips have uh, some tahini sprinkled on them. I have my same margaritas I've been having every day for the last Our three favorite years. bartender behind the bar. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we just having a couple of snacks because she is going to get her nails done. In an hour. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for that experience. Hi. So this is the 
fish market. Our bar. Well, now that we figured out how you order the fresh fish at the fish market, we can uh, we can get on with our meal. We ordered a whole bunch of small plates, which is some vegetables, some uh, uh, some Greek salad, our um, what the other stuff is. Anyway, we have a whole bunch of, of different little plates coming, and then we each ordered a set of swordfish. So hopefully the uh, the swordfish will come out good as well. And how it's ordered, it's by the gram, so watch your prices. Well, it's, uh, it's better to ask ahead of time than to be disappointed at the end with whatever the price is for the fish that's coming. And this is the La Pescateria on deck eight. Mm -hmm. Brand new to yeah, MSC. They have outdoor seating in the promenade area. And they're all getting ready for their big event on Saturday, so that's why we're here today. This one is for Tumistu, Shrimp, Calamari, and Donchovies. Lusaka, we have uh, this is uh, Taramas. Here, feta on stick, great salad, uh, great vegetable, grilled octopus, uh, focaccia bread, tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki sauce. So nothing missing? Nothing uh, missing. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> yummy, yummy swordfish. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 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 oh,
So if you like the content, subscribe, like, comment down below. Tell us how much you love Glenn, how much Lucia oh, sucks. Wait, can we go to the All You Can Eat Pizza and Burger joint tonight? This will become a ritual. <laughs> Whatever you want, dear. Oh, let's tacos in the afternoon. Pizza and burgers at night. <laughs> Whatever you want, dear. You know what? It doesn't have to be gourmet all the time. And um, tomorrow, Lucia gets breakfast in bed and a bikini. Yeah, we have a day, day at sea tomorrow. So sea. you won't see much tomorrow unless we find stuff that we haven't covered in the past couple days. Unless I can put my phone in her bikini. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Peace out. This is the make your own popsicle stand. On what deck? This is on the eighth deck. This is the outdoor promenade. In the promenade, right. And, uh, and I'm looking over here and the dry slide is actually running. So that might be in the future for us. We'll see. But she's going to grab an ice cream out of the freezer. And she's going to put it in the white chocolate, right? White chocolate. Look at that. Amazing. So if you are on the World Europa, come down to Deck 8 and make your own. Sweet temptations. Oh my God, look at all this chocolate. What's all this? We're gonna make a chocolate bar. Holy bunch. shit. Look out. All right. And, and what's this? Let's start. Oh. Take the bow off it, open it. I'm it right now. I want to see more. No. <laughs> okay, you get a sack to put it this in is, too. That's for you, by the way. Ten bucks. I did that for you. All right. <laughs> Grazie, everybody. Buona sera. See, honey. I did. I did. Right. We're loving it here. The uh, the cool ocean breeze made me so happy. Good. All right, now I'm gonna show. Got it. He does. One more in the middle. One more. This is clean, okay? Well done. This is clean in Japanese name. Clean! <laughs> oh. My prayers have been answered. I got to meet Christina Alinas. And so did Lucia. <laughs> I have a picture to prove it. We what did. A, what a wonderful day at sea. Yeah. We were busy all day long. I haven't fallen asleep yet. We, we didn't go swimming. We didn't take a nap. 
The pool water was very cold as far as we could tell. Outside was prohibitive. There's um, a lot of people on the ship too. I don't think I wanted to get in the pool water, the hot tub water. I prefer to go in my own hot tub than yeah. to go in the hot tub where somebody else might be. But it is a very good ship. So if you ever get the chance to come on World Europa, please do because there is so much to do and so little time to do it. So with that being mm -hmm. said, if you liked our at sea day today subscribe like comment down below hit that little bell to notify you of when we post next and if you feel impelled tell your friends the same thank you good night everyone Bye. see you tomorrow in barcelona spain good morning everybody we've officially put country number three that is brand new on the map i think we were looking at my list last night and how many countries are we up am i up to now 38. 38. 38. In nine years, 38 countries. That's pretty, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So today we are going by e-bike around the city of Barcelona. Could be about six hours. So get your helmets on and let's ride. Mm -hmm. for digging the bone marrow out of the bone. And it's supposed to be a real delicacy. I've never eaten it before, have you? No. This is gonna be a first for the both of us. Do you wanna try it? Oh, Got sure. some caramelized the onion, some, some caramelized onions. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Let me get some more for you. It seems like there's a bunch in here. Oh. All right, ready? All right, you give me. I hope you don't hate it. It's a different kind of texture, isn't it? Let me show you where I dug it out of the bone. Right in there it came out of. I'm gonna go straight on the toast. A little caramelized onion. Let me load you up with some more. I don't know what it tastes like. I think you better try it. That's what comes out of the middle of it. I get a little of this caramelized onion. I don't know if that's the flavor, but here we go. It tastes like... It tastes like that part of the steak when you get a ribeye and it's got the extra fat on it. Bingo! Right? But it's a lot cleaner and it's a lot lighter. And it's not like chewing a piece of fat. What do you got? Our deviled eggs? 
Alright, on to the next course. So, we have been to the Butcher's Cut restaurant on two other ships, twice on MSC she Seashore. So we've eaten at Butcher's Cut three different times. None of those other ships, Butcher's Cut, matched what we had here today. Lucia's filet mignon was that thick. I was expecting two sets of lamb chop lollipops. I ended up with three sets of lamb chop lollipops. Each one of the sauces, the chimichurri, the béarnaise, the pepper, peppercorn, the mushroom sauce, were perfect complements to the meat. Whether you were having beef or lamb. We tried to finish what we could of the dessert. I have to give up. I can't eat another bite. Try not to fill up on the bread if you come here. Concentrate on your main courses. I ordered multiple appetizers and uh, after eating the bone marrow and realizing that I had never ordered it before, I think that I would definitely order it again. So I am giving Butcher's Cut on World Europa five out of five stars. Excellent. You agree? I agree. How was that cheesecake? Good. Everything here will knock your socks off. Come to MSC Experience Butcher's Cut with any one of the dining packages. Don't forget, if you like the content, subscribe, like, comment down below. See you on the next episode of Destination Next. Tomorrow is Marseille, France. I'm bombastic. Fantastic. What is that? Good morning from Marseille, France. Welcome to France. Welcome to France. You were just here. I know. A couple months ago. I know. No, we were in Paris, Paris though. Yeah, I have not been Paris. to Marseille. We were not in the south of France. No. This is actually my first time to the south of France. Is it really? Do you think we're going to see uh, Christmas markets? <laughs> Adoram. Oh, maybe. He's here. Maybe. Uh, Right? So, uh, how many miles are we doing in Marseille today? Oh, I don't know. We'll let you know later on how many miles we did in Marseille. in France. My God. <laughs> so here in Marseille, France, we're in a Asian restaurant called the Cal. And the little segment that you just saw, that's their bathroom. Asian street food. They had disco lights going off in Very the bathroom. Good, thank you. So here we've got some goiza, which I'm not sharing. You're and not sharing with who? You. Oh, you're not sharing with me? I'm kidding. Oh. And some yakitori, some chicken on a stick. And it looks like they put little bits of ham in with rice. Mm. You ever have, have ham in your fried rice before? No. Me neither. Dig in. No, wait. Before we do that. Let me see. Here's you your dip sauce. it in the stuff there. And you jam the whole thing in your face and chew it so you can't speak. Right? And you say, Duchia, Duchia, eating the gyoza. I'm gonna eat this yakitori, this chicken on a stick, and we'll be back. So, of course, you know me, me and my Italian roots. I just had to go to this Pizza Charlie and get some yummy, yummy pizza. Oh my God. And I had to get some to share with Glenn. Mmm. The sweet sauce. Oh my God.
absolutely amazing. Mm. If you ever come to Marseille, France, go to Pizza Charlie and then go to Dakau. Don't be sorry you did. Well, go back what an adventure. <laughs> Let's show them what you did. Oh. So he's got an injury there. A little he's road rash. An injury there. Yeah, busted he my fell knuckles. on the bike. The poor guy. Mm -hmm. And my hand is oh, really look at this. sore. He's bringing me my oh. own yeah. bottle of water. <laughs> ah. Got some more food. We're in our favorite restaurant once again. Uh, so tonight nachos. we have no plans. We're just going to a la carte the whole night around the ship. Right? Yes. Right. Uh, uh, did you make a, a teppanyaki yeah, reservation? Yeah, yep, I did. A la carte? Yeah. And uh, um, you didn't go to Kaito Sushi Bar then? No. If okay. you want to make a reservation, I give it make two. No, we got it. Well, I'll give it. <laughs> She's there. Thank you, sir. No, I made one at teppanyaki. Okay, good. So there you have it. Well, that'll be enough food for us. Seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. We're sticking around for dessert this time, right? Yeah, I guess. 7 p.m. but in between then and now what are we gonna do sleep nap <laughs> we need a nap well what a day somebody got hurt by four years so we're ending the night early subscribe like comment down below see you tomorrow change of plans are on the way here we are just embarkation day so sad. we are we had a beautiful week a wonderful cruise and excellent we um we have uh, actually two days before we get home. Yes, we do. We have a layover in Rome, Rome tonight. Yeah. And a layover in Copenhagen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lazy trip home, but that's okay too. We're going to make the best of it today and tomorrow. And uh, when we return, we have to go to work. <laughs> Does this place look familiar? We're back at our favorite kebab shop. Yeah. Uh, we just learned a, di a dis embarkation hack. Go ahead and share. We left a couple minutes before we proposed to it. Nobody right. told us no. And you know how we did that? So when everybody's getting off the ship to go on the excursions, you just go. That's it. So Arun and Jane, our friends from South Africa, there's your hack when you do travel trips now in the future. Hey everybody, we're back. We're on the train on our way to Rome Central Station, where we will get an Uber to take us to our hotel. It was very easy. Well, not that easy to get tickets. We had to go to the ticket counter and get our tickets. It cost about $104 to ride the train back to Rome. That's in euros. That's for the two of us. Right. So now we're on a high speed train going to Milan, which is a northern city in Italy. Northern city. Okay, good. I got it right. <laughs> And then we're going to take an Uber and we're going to head out to our hotel. Uh, drop off our bags and hopefully get to meet some more cousins before the night. So yes, so stay tuned for more adventures. Adventure awaits. Hi, everybody. Here we are again. <laughs> so we had a little bit of a challenge. Challenge what? Um, so we had to switch trains because someone decided at the last minute he wanted to take a train instead of taking an Uber. And Beat it. We found the traffic at this time of day will be stupid yeah. in the world. So we're on the train, we're gonna get as close as we can to our airport hotel. Don't know that we're gonna be able to wheel our suitcases there. We may have to get a taxi cab to take us to the airport, but we'll be there in time for check-in. So far this trip has been very successful thanks to Mr. Bourdain back here. Oh, Anthony Bourdain? No, Glenn Bourdain, Glenn Bourdain. his lost brother. Well, we just arrived at the Rome Airport Inn. Look at this beautiful room. So pretty. Free shuttle service from the airport to the hotel. That's and great. That, that and they is. live here on the property. And it is a bed and breakfast, so tomorrow we are going to feast. We're the only ones here. We're a little early. Um, we're eating at what is 5.30. Who cares? Everyone else here will eat between 8 and 8.30. McDonald's for late night snacks tonight. And I'm sure you're going to have some McDonald's <laughs> for a late night snack. Our uh, wine just got delivered to the table. Of course, I ordered a bottle of Cusamano wine made in Sicily. We were drinking this when we were in Messina at the courtyard where we did the TikTok. Do you remember mm -hmm. that one? And now we have a whole selection of antipasti. 
We have a whole selection of raw fish, and it's, it's raw oysters, and raw scampi, and raw shrimp, and over here is tartar. So this would be raw all as well. Okay, so of course you have mussels, and then we have some um, some squid with the potatoes. This is an octopus mm -hmm. over the potatoes. Mm -hmm. This one here is a, a seafood sauce with a little mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. I think they might have some fish on the bottom mm -hmm. of the shrimp. Over here, these are octopus legs with some with some stuffing, and then this is a, a, a tuna crab cake. And this one over here with the baguettes, we're gonna see what's under, underneath when we get that far. King prawn? Yeah, uh, king prawn with a little hollandaise sauce okay. on it. What's this? And that guy is a uh, fried amberjack fish. Nice. What is that? Oh, well, you had to have pasta. Yeah. And look at those clams. Yeah. They are fancy. All right. Oh my goodness. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, well, I'm eating clams. You eat are you full yet? We've just had an appetizer and a prima, which is a green clam sauce and the al dente pasta. So perfect. Oops. I had to eat it all. Look behind you. Oops. <laughs> is it no, you lost the whole canopy. He has to pull it back. Oh, my God. What have you done? What? Don't zoom in on me, zoom in on this. Oh this my God. is the fruit of the sea. This is the fruit de mer with lobster and fresh fish and shrimp and calamari and octopus and eggplant and asparagus. Hold it over this way. This one. I have a full skewer of calamari. And look at those oh lobster tails. <laughs> I hope you brought your hungries because you're going to eat. Here's the sauce. There's tomatoes and basil and olive oil. Here's the mayonnaise, the tartar sauce for you. I think we should have only got one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. <coughs> Get eaten. I'm thirsty. I need more wine. And the packing begins. Tomorrow, Copenhagen. There you have it. No segue, but we are going on an extra special excursion to behind the scenes at the Genoa Aquarium. Now, other people going straight to the aquarium, but uh, look at that ship in the background. It's, a, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it is called great. the Sea Cloud. It's got three sailing <laughs> masts and uh, you know, some hoity toity people jumping off of that. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you now? We're on a boat. Well, we've been standing outside. I have shorts on and a shirt and no jacket. I'm glad I got my hat on the top of my head. And I mean, it, it says it's 60 degrees, but it's very windy down by down by the water. And so how many people are on this boat? Oh, there's probably about 200 people on this boat easily. Easily 200. <laughs> and we were looking for a bus outside of our boat. This is uh, the World Europa over on the other side of the harbor. Grandiosa out there, a MSC freighter ship, and this is a ferry to take us from this side of the harbor to the other side of the harbor where the Genoa Aquarium is. And that is our destination for this morning. Oh, wow! Oh my god! Look how tiny they are! Hi, guys!
Lots of street food. Lots of nice people. Nobody being rude. Look at that. What's up there, Lucia? Back again. Poncho's back. Tell a friend. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. A rainy day in Genoa is still better than a sunny day at work. So we're at the La Tren Cuero Stand Argentino. Mm -hmm. Where they have ribs, they have mixed meats, they have french fries, they have bread. They have this Ooh. Argentinian sauce. We're going to pour so it all delish. over this. Mm -hmm. And they don't let you drink in the bottle here like you've seen in the last episode where Glenn walked around the market the in bottle. Barcelona. Yes. He put it in a Tupperware. Look at this. There's my bottle this of Prosecco. One glass. One glass of wine. <laughs> and of course, Coke Zero for the Princess. sobriety, which we're celebrating 22 months today. And we are going to take in the rest of the sights of Genoa and share what we can when we walk back to the ship. Oh, when I get a yacht, I am going to park it right here in the harbor in Genoa. And I'm going to go eat at that market again, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a month until I get so sick of it. That I'm gonna get on the yacht again and move to another town somewhere else because even a rainy day in Genoa will make me smile. What is this? I don't Special know. Dining experience in spite. This is the Garden Restaurant on the top floor, and it's inspired by Michelin star restaurant tour and. Uses microgreens. This is a microgreen restaurant. Look at the microgreens growing everywhere. Most of what you're going to eat is grown hydroponically on this ship. Some microgreens are sourced locally, but only at the ports that this ship visits. So everything that you're going to be seeing and eating here today is going to be farm to table. This is a miniature pizza. <laughs> It's not a miniature pizza. Yes, it is. And it's got some pate on it. And, uh... Alright, here. Richie is going to eat that. Move your nose like that again. <laughs> good. On. Breads on here. One is sourdough, mm -hmm. one is not. And these are the butter for the bread. <laughs> Let's get a snapshot of that. Mm -hmm. And the butter. Now it's your first appetizer as you have switched to black and dust The soft is true. It has a piece of black and bread. And you can see some forest berry also. And some baked beans right there. Some Black wheat, which is fried, and we have some goat cheese, and then some like wheat on the top. Mine is the raw tuna. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Palm half of the top, as you can see, the white thick, and also the small, small black thing. Oh, so good. Uh huh. Thank you. Is that a burrito? Oh, that's a burrito. That's. Oh, that's the codfish. Wonderful driver Marco up there Hi, in Marco. front. <laughs> We're on our way to the airport. Just a two hour flight. And these are our friends from Canada. Canada. We love Canada. We've been to all different parts of Canada. Well, we've arrived at the airport. That was a pretty quick flight. Uh, yes, the uh, Rome Airport in Bed and Breakfast. It's about 15 Not 20 to minutes. be confused with the Rome Airport Hotel. Right. Tell people you're at the hotel and you're really at the B&B &B, and B&B. Nobody is going to know that. Right, but we are very well pleased with the way this trip's turned out thanks to the captain here. So we're inside the airport now eating the rest of our french fries. It's not, as, it's not as expensive as Europe, but it's not as um, no. elaborate either. And but check out that. We got some grilled vegetables. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be 
supposed to be a bottle of wine. There's no soda on the table, and there's my burger. be light let's do that again so you walk in there's the bedroom windows yeah lights are off take your little card like this let there be light nice little bathroom nice size shower, the shower. not complaining no so decent absolutely all right so look out the window look out the window so we're here for the night. All right, so we are inside Tivoli Gardens right now. This is a downtown amusement park. It's been here for 180 years. 180. Look at that. This is the That's park cool. That Walt Disney got to visit in the 40s, and he got the idea to build Disneyland after coming here. Now, take a look at our map up above. They have got roller coasters, they got high flying swings, they've got a boat ride over there, they got Ferris wheels, kitty rides, and also a lot of food venues, including the food hall on our right here. We're in the Sharma Stand in the corner of Pivoli Gardens. It's the opposite corner of the food hall where we had plants go originally. Yeah. But I love me some Sharma I know. I don't think we're. I don't think we're going to a Swarm, um food hall. Food hall. <laughs> what happened? It rained. It started to rain. And it's cold. And I think that we had rain almost every. We day did every of single day. Our vacation. We've been robbed. So. <laughs> We've been robbed. I want a uh, refund. I want all my I money say, back. As I say, even a rainy day in Tivoli is better than a sunny day. I want at, my money back. At work. Who do I talk to? I, don't I want know. to file a complaint. Well, Let me talk to your manager. Oh, Helen Waite. She's in every second Tuesday of the week. So you can talk to her. <laughs> Tell her, you know, <laughs> you, you have a hard time dealing with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the, uh, uh, we're in the lobby of our hotel which is essentially a, their lounge. We have four or five rooms down here where you can meet and congregate and play some cards if you want. Have a sip of wine at a reasonable price and, uh, and check out the local decor. This place is amazing. We're definitely coming back here in the future. <coughs> and, uh, and our next pictures, when we return to Tivoli Gardens, will be all blue skies and puffy white clouds. So if you like the content, Subscribe, like, comment down below, and tell your friends to do the same. We'll see you next time. The adventure home begins.